Hi, my name is Kevin Myers and I am the Creative Arts Director at Project 938. There are a lot of people who have made me into the person that I am today. In fact, when I was 13 and I was being baptized, the pastor who was baptizing me asked our congregation to raise their hand if they had had any contribution into my life, into making me who I was at that moment and leading me to Christ. Over a hundred hands went up that day. In the midst of all of those hands, there is one in particular that stands out. That's the hand of my mom. She's the one that really got me into music. My dad will be the first one to tell you that his side of the family can't pick up a tune, let alone carry one. See, my mom, while we were growing up, was always in the church. She was either leading a Sunday school class, or she was singing in the choir, or playing trumpet during the Christmas celebration. And that's where I really got my love for music from. She got me into piano lessons uh, when I was pretty young, and despite all of the times I tried to quit, she forced me to stick with it. One day, I finally came to her and was like, Mom, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with this piano stuff. I don't want to practice. I don't want to do it anymore. So she struck a deal with me. She said, you can quit piano, but you can't quit music. That Christmas, I received my very first guitar. She encouraged me to do lessons, and here we are today. I am working in a church, playing guitar, and serving the Lord through music. My senior year of high school, I received a call into vocational ministry as a worship leader. Most of the people that I told that I wanted to be a worship leader kind of looked at me and they were like, you just kind of want to be a rock star. You're just not really good enough. <laughs> so are you just building up your chops? Are you just getting some performance experience and then you're gonna, gonna move on as a musician? But my mom saw the true passion that I had. She was the first one to affirm me in my calling. She's the first one who encouraged me to pursue this dream of serving people through music and through the church. That same year, my mom was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's disease. And in the next two years, she declined rapidly. It was in these times that we played music together. She could still remember the words to old hymns like Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing or What a Friend We Have in Jesus along with some very corny camp songs. See, my mom and my dad met at a camp, so she had a lot of those. This is how we communicated until about two to three years ago when my mom lost her ability to sing. Although she still finds a ton of joy in listening to Josh Groban and Fernando Ortega sing some of her favorite songs as we sing along because she can't. So what does this mean for us? How does this make my mom a hero maker? I could tell you many stories of how she loved on kids, how she served them well as a lunch lady at my junior high, how she sang joyfully in the choir every single year at Christmas. But I think the thing that my mom has contributed most into my life has been that she prays for me, that she has prayed for me every single day. A month or so after my mom had lost her driver's license, I was taking her into town because we had to go get groceries or I had convinced her to go to Taco Bell or something, something like that. And we were driving into town and we kind of lived out in the country and so we always had to drive right past where I went to high school and also where I went to junior high where my mom was a lunch lady for, for I think like five to 10 years. And on this day, we were driving in, and we were just listening to the local Christian radio station, just kind of singing along with it, and really just enjoying the day. I turned onto our high school road, and as I was driving past, my, my mom just kind of stopped singing and turned down the radio. It was at this moment that she turned to me and said, Kevin, I love you. And this is the place where I would pray every single morning on my way to work for you and for your sister, 
for your futures, for your present. Because I feel like that's all I can do in this moment. And I hope it's enough. You see, I'm a product of a praying mom. Nothing I do, I could do without her prayers, without her support, without her encouragement, without her love. And it is for this reason that I consider my mom to be my greatest hero maker.